Felix here, and we just got it. Indeed, the data just in is going to significantly move the stock market up. What is it? How does it work? Is it going to last? I think that's probably what you're asking. That's what I'm going to answer in this video as quickly as humanly possible. I'm aware of your time being precious, but before we do that, I want to normally give you benchmarks of what I think are great, not necessarily great stocks, but what investment banks say are good buys, and I think it's insightful. But this list from UBS here, I'm calling it the nine stocks to harm your portfolio in a recession. I think it's also really good to understand what's rubbish and what, 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 what is good. So have a look at it. Um, here they are. I've highlighted in red why I think this is rubbish. Super low margins, really high leverage. I don't really see how that makes any sense going into this rate environment and so on. And, you know, trust the Swissies to screw up the banks at the moment, right? A little unfair in Deutsche Bank, I know. But, you know, download it at felixfriends.org slash UBS9. felixfriends.org slash UBS9. It's completely free. Links also in the description. Um, none of the following course, course is financial advice. You know that. And I know you love these disclaimers, which is why I bring them up every time. So what have we just got in? What just happened here? We just got the jolts opening data and I stopped my trading this week until this particular piece of data came in. That's how important I thought it is. And let me just take a quick snapshot of it so we can uh, we can look at it and see, is this really enough to change the story, change the macro? So we were expecting 10.7% um, to 11.1 million job openings. So jobs available for people to take. We got what? We got only 10 million. That is fantastic from the point of view of a stock investor. Not so good for people looking for jobs, obviously. But, you know, we live in a parallel universe here uh, where the, the real economy is completely separate from the investing economy. So that's good news. Why? Because the Fed, Jay Powell, every single meeting and press conference, he bangs on about this ratio of two job openings to one unemployed person. So he always says this to the unemployed, this ratio has to change. It can't be two to one. It's changing. First time, it's really significantly moving more than we expected. That's good news. Factory orders are flat. Now, we were quite frankly expecting that to be a decline, which is why I'm a little bit dubious on whether, you know, the economy is really slowing down or this is just like, well, still 10 million job openings. That's still a heck of a lot of job openings. So what is the market doing? How's the market reacting? Are we making money out of this? So if you look at, say, the QQQ, here it is today flying up 3% as I'm recording this. Now, I actually have a bearish trade open on the QQQ. What does that mean? It means if the QQQ is below $320, I make money, which is sort of the, the, the August mid, late August peak. So is that trade making me money? Well, here's the trade live, and you can see this is where we are, and my break even is up here at 320. So even though it's going in the wrong direction, I am making money and I'm looking at potentially max returns unless, unless the QQQ goes tremendously up. I mean, unless we see literally a 13, 14% rally here. Um, is that possible? It's possible, but it's not particularly likely. And it goes to show the kind of trades we can set up where we can be like wrong, really, really wrong. There's another one, Visa card, for example. Um, I thought I'm making money until 198. Basically, it's trading at 185. So similar sort of story can go up tremendously. Uh, and that's a big part. Um, here is that line. Again, so you can see the difference between where we are and where we are right now is pretty significant for Visa card. So this is part of the strategy, the principles, the method, the protocol that I put in place over many years of, of options trading, many years of learning from options traders, uh, my stint at investment bank, uh, and so on, that allows us to make money more than 80% of the time. I think we made money at about 82% out of all trades this year. Hence, we are up 101%. I don't know where the record is, but it's here somewhere. So that's one thing. Now, you might be wondering, well, what can I to make money out of this? Well, I would look at this with some caution. Why would I look at this with some caution? because the macro has just had one indicator. 
we've had false hopes on inflation. We were told in April, May, inflation had peaked and the labor market just got stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, we're coming out of the summer season. You know, we've had lots of um, restaurants, F&B, travel and so on. And that naturally fizzles out a little bit as we go into the autumn, we go into the winter. So you kind of expect there to be a little bit less job openings anyway. So could this just be a seasonal impact? Could be. Um, we have to wait for some more data. Don't throw everything at this now. We're getting um, jobless claims again on Thursday, unemployment rate on Friday. That's important. And then next week, we're getting more inflation data. And really, from what the Fed is saying, we want to see a consistent batch of data before we change our mind. Yeah, the Aussies didn't raise their rates as much as we expected them to today, but the Aussies are Aussies and the Aussies are a commodity economy. It's not comparable to the US essentially service in, you know, industry uh, economy that, that you have. So very, very different beasts. You can't really compare the two. So if we get six weeks or eight weeks of data that consistently shows measure after measure showing a worsening economy, then that would be good for the stock market. At the moment, I think this is just the result of 20 billion of S&P 500 um, uh, puts expiring last Friday and people like, you know, resetting up positions and so on. And therefore we get this, this bullish short-term rally. Um, I'm not a bear. I don't think we should stay out of the market. I consistently buy every week the market, but be cautious. Um, this is going to stay volatile. Uh, we look at what the uh, VIX inversion, which basically means the future um, is riskier than it is right now. That's where we've been. Now that's changing a little bit as I'm looking at this here. Here's the, the chart. So right now the VIX is 28.8. Um, the next November and December are still seen as less risky. And then we go into January, which is seen as more risky again. So it's kind of getting there, but this should be a smooth curve up. The future should always be riskier because it's harder to predict. So it's still looking pretty, um, pretty loony uh, the way I'm looking at that. So volatility is still here to stay. The ups and downs are here to stay. And of course you can make money out of it. If you want to learn how we make money out of it, um, Give me a call at phoenixrents.org slash coaching uh, how you can learn the protocol that I've put in place for years and years and years of investing and, and losing money, quite frankly, at the early days. I tried a lot of different things. I wanted to implement the system that big investment banks used to trade options. And at the beginning, I was a lot of things like, well, that didn't really work out, did it? And then over the years, I fine-tuned it and it, I, it allows me to be in a, in a crazy market like this, be up 101% so far this year. And that's what I want to teach you. That's what I want to pass on. And I want to pass it on to 100,000 students. We're standing at about 2,800 students. So we're getting there. And we're just getting started. It's a tremendously exciting community of people who want to build an extra income stream, be more financially free, and, and really understand how markets work. So that's what we do. Me and my team of coaches who are former investment bankers, who are university lecturers, who are really high level people with like decades of experience. And you, they and me, of course, really teach you that. So check it out, Felix Rensselbach slash coaching. Now you do need a five-figure portfolio to, to apply for the coaching program. Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense. If you're not quite there yet with the, with the five figures, um, brilliant. You're getting started. That's the best place to be. Um, you want to get started, especially in markets like this, because actually money is made in bear markets. Check out our pre-recorded 100 lectures plus all the strategy. You get to see me trade live every week. It's all there. Felix Rensselog slash options, coupon codes, build wealth. Check it out. And if you enjoy these little macro updates off the cuff, uh, I'd love it if you let me know, or if you thought this was Felix in a mint blazer, who knows what the heck that man's on about. Also let me know, and I can always um, it helps me to improve. It helps me to give you what is most helpful. It helps me to give you what helps you understand and it helps you come to better research outcomes and therefore better, better investment decisions outcomes. So thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it and see you on the next one.